It's still the same house, but it feels so much bigger and it's weird because you're like, that's magic. We bought the house off of my dad. He's a first generation migrant from Azad Kashmir in Pakistan. So it was just really interesting to come to this area where I've grown up to give it that love and that attention and that slow craft. The bricks are done by a really good brick layer. The actual metal part of the roof is kind of done by, by roofers, but the rest of it we've done ourselves. We had no weekends and no holidays for five years, so <laughs> that's kind of what you sign up to if you do yeah, it the way exactly. we've done it. We went to the Japan House exhibition at the Barbican, saw a lecture by Sana Architects and they were talking about borrowed spaces and enlarging spaces. I think that was when we decided to get rid of the partition wall that separated <laughs> the spare room and the bathroom and we got curtains instead and it's made such a huge difference. Mm. We haven't enlarged anything mm -hmm. but we've just created a sense of grandeur and a mm. sense of space and a sense of volume. It just gives this feeling of expansiveness that you just don't get in a two up, two down house. We would much rather have vistas and views to other spaces than a narrow corridor that you're going through day in, day out. My work is comics and graphic novels and with you it was using this house to be the, the architectural starting point for our office as well. I think for us, architecture, it's always about the way you live in it and your habits and your rituals in the space. I don't think either of us believe in... Minimalism. Yeah, minimalism <laughs> or the austere or the super yeah. clean. It's because life doesn't work that way. We're not trying to hide everything. That goes from the perspective of items, belongings, but then also just in terms of the logic and the, the language of space. You see that things are different elements and they're floating in space. It encourages you to be slow and I think we've decided that it's because there's so many different materials mm. and there's such a care that's been taken over the spaces. It's definitely formed a key moment in our lives. Everything is before and after build. It's also just allowed us to really look at expressing who we are as designers and practitioners. For me, it reflects on our relationship. We've really worked hard on finding balance and ways to support each other, despite our different cultural upbringings. This house is a testament to that. Modern House, selling thoughtfully designed homes across the UK.